Dog's Kids Club. Yeah! Hey, Diggy Dog, did you know that plants and animals need each other to live? It's true. Okay, pop quiz, Diggy Dog. Why do animals need plants? <laughs> Dog, animals eat plants for food. Those water buffalo are loving that grass. One way that animals need plants is for food. There are so many different kinds of animals that eat plants. Check out these giraffes. They use their long necks and long tongues to reach the leaves in the tree. So many animals rely on plants for food. Little animals like squirrels and big animals like gorillas. Check it out, even lizards like to eat plants for food. Look at this little baby monkey. He found himself a delicious plant snack. Well, we know one thing for sure. There are so many animals around the world that eat plants for food. Okay, Diggy Dog, so we know that animals need plants for food. But is there anything else that animals need plants for? There is? What else do animals need plants for? Oh yeah, that's right, Diggy Dog. Animals need plants for shelter and protection. You look pretty comfy cozy in your leaf blanket, Diggy Dog. Many animals use plants as their homes. Animals need plants for shelter and protection. Oh cool, it's a mama sloth and a baby sloth. Sloths like to live way up high in the trees. There are so many kinds of animals that live in trees. And some animals even live inside of trees. I wonder what lives in this tree. Check it out! It's a toucan! Some birds live inside of trees and others live on tree branches. Look at this nest! There's baby birds in it! <coughs> Wow, that was so cool! That baby bird just gulped down that whole worm! They're so hungry! Even some of the smallest animals use plants as their home, just like these ants! Wow, check out this praying mantis! He is so cool looking! He's camouflaging with these leaves and using them for protection. Amazing! Wow, you really know your stuff, Diggy Dog. Okay, here's a tough one. What could plants possibly need animals for? Diggy Dog? Seeds! Plants need animals to help spread their seeds. 
Okay, so in order for more plants to grow, they have to spread their seeds. But how do plants spread their seeds? I know, they must sprout legs and walk around, right? Ha! Huh, I can't say I've ever seen a plant walking around. Have you? I'm gonna have to agree with you on this one. A plant with legs? That's ridiculous! Since plants don't have legs, they need help to spread their seeds. And one of the ways that plants get help is from animals. One way that animals help to spread seeds is with their fur. Seeds will stick to animals' fur and then that animal walks away. Eventually, those seeds will fall off and grow a new plant. Wow, this bear has so much fur. I bet he's got a lot of seeds in there. There he goes, off to get more seeds. There's all kinds of animals with fur out there helping plants to spread out their seeds. He's so itchy. Cool, look at this guy's fur. Look at him go! He's definitely helping to spread some plant seeds. Have you ever done this? I know I have. Even us humans help to spread seeds for plants. Believe it or not, all those little white floating parts of the dandelion are seeds. And when we blow them around, they fly to different places to grow more dandelions. So cool! Another way that animals help to spread seeds is by eating the seeds and fruits from plants. Okay, so check it out. This is a kiwi fruit. It comes from a kiwi plant. But look in the middle. Do you see all of those black seeds? Animals will eat this entire kiwi fruit. And when they do that, they eat the seeds, too! There are so many kinds of animals that eat seeds and fruits from all kinds of plants! I bet those berries are full of seeds! Wait a minute! When animals eat fruits and seeds, how does that help to spread the seeds? Hmm, that's a tough one. What do you guys think? What could it possibly be? Oh my goodness, it's poop. Okay, I think I know where we're going with this. After the animals eat the seeds and fruit, they do their business. And when that happens, out comes the seeds. And eventually, those seeds make it into the dirt and grow new plants. Diggy Dog, did you hear that? Animals help spread seeds with poop. Isn't that crazy, Diggy Dog? Oh, Diggy Dog, don't be embarrassed. Everybody poops. Dog, you're a bumblebee! Oh yeah! We almost forgot! There's one more way that plants need animals! That's right, Diggy Dog! Flowers need to be pollinated! And bees have one of the most important jobs to pollinate flowers! Oh, Diggy Dog! That was amazing! You are ready to go pollinate flowers! I love it! I cannot believe we almost forgot one of the most important ways plants need animals. Pollination! And that's just what bees do. They pollinate. Flowers can't make seeds without pollen from other flowers. This is where the bees come in. Bees love to eat nectar and pollen. And where do you think the bees get the nectar and pollen from? That's right, you guessed it, 
flowers. Okay, so check it out. Here comes a bee right now. He's circling around looking for the perfect spot to get nectar. There he goes. It looks like he found it. Not only is he eating nectar, but he's also collecting pollen. The pollen sticks to his body. Look at all that pollen on his head. After pollen gets stuck to the bee's body, they'll fly to other flowers to find more nectar. And once they land on the other flower, pollen from their body will sprinkle off into that flower, pollinating the flower. Now that is cool! Wow, look at all that pollen on that bee. It's all over him. Oh, cool! Look at this bee. He has a big purple ball of pollen on his leg. Once the flower gets pollen from the bee, it can make seeds so that more flowers can grow. That is amazing! Although bees do most of the pollinating, there are other animals that also pollinate. What other animals do you think pollinate? That's right! Butterflies! Just like bees, butterflies eat nectar. Butterflies have a long tongue they use just like a straw to suck up the nectar. Wow, do you see that? Can you see his long tongue? He's drinking nectar. So cool! And just like bees, butterflies spread pollen to other flowers. Another animal that pollinates are hummingbirds. Hummingbirds love to eat nectar with their long tongues. Wow, so cool! Believe it or not, even some bats are pollinators. It's true! Some bats have long tongues and like to eat nectar from flowers. Now that is cool! Diggy Dog, this has been so much fun! Oh yeah! I agree, Diggy Dog! It's dance party time! Dog, your dance parties are the best! I learned so much today! How about you, Diggy Dog? Awesome! See you next time!